Hey guys, today we went to Wood Ranch in Ventura, California and tried Ethan's brisket sandwich. Let's check it out. All right guys, so today me and Sassy were out and about doing a little shopping today. And by the way, say hi to Sassy, she's over there. Hello. And we decided to go to the mall, bought some shirts and stuff and we worked up an appetite doing some of that retail therapy and we decided to go to Woods Ranch in Ventura, California, just one town over where I live. So we went in for lunch, and uh, while we were waiting to order, uh, I decided to have a, a Big Sky Brewing Company Moose Drool Brown Ale it's from Missoula, Montana. It's really good, nice beer. I had a pint, I think it was a pint, and uh, Sassy had the, the iced tea. Lo and behold, on the menu was brisket. So now I know Wood Ranch has got kind of some southern roots with some of their barbecue and stuff like that, but I didn't expect to find brisket on their menu. Usually I think Wood Ranch, I go there for steak or ribeye, prime rib when they used to have it, um, maybe even some, some nice burgers. But they had a brisket and a brisket sandwich. So I decided to have the brisket sandwich. Now this is known as Ethan's brisket sandwich. I don't know who Ethan is. Our waitress, Kylie, didn't really seem to know. So they cook it on an Alto Sham electric indoor smoker. Um, they're out of Wisconsin. They're made in America as far as I know. They've been around a while. I've just never heard of an Alto Sham. Uh, so you guys want to Google it, go check it out. So they are using California white oak and they're cooking it all night long. So let me tell you, the taste was awesome. Now I didn't get their exact recipe on what, what they're using as a rub or anything like that, but it didn't taste like the typical salt and pepper. And that actually surprised me because it tasted really good. There was um, definitely a lot of smoke flavor on it, but it didn't have too much um, salt or pepper in the background. It was actually it was very good. It pulled apart awesome. I must have had some pieces from the uh, point. Um, now it was topped with Carolina slaw, some Tillamook Swiss cheese, and some toasted brioche buns. It didn't have pickles or any um, Thousand Island dressing uh, or anything like that on there. I don't think it needed it, uh, but other um, Wood Ranch locations usually do that. Now on the side, I took the Lauren's favorite macaroni and cheese. Nothing to write home about. It was pretty decent, but I'll take Sassy's macaroni and cheese over uh, this macaroni and cheese any day. Yeah. So overall, I would give it an A-. minus. It was a great brisket sandwich. It's only a couple miles from our house. And we're going to go back in the next week or two to actually try a proper brisket plate and see how it slices up and, and uh, take another look at that brisket. Because honestly, it was really good for this area because hard barbecue is hard to come by around here in Ventura County. So anyway, guys, hope you uh, like this quick little update what we're eating this weekend. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and we'll see you later.